Hi, I want to show you how the thermostats in an electric water heater work. How the upper thermostat essentially controls the entire operation, controlling electricity flowing to the upper heating element and then to the lower thermostat and to the lower heating element. I'm going to use these animations to show you exactly how the electricity flows between the thermostats and the heating elements and how the internal switches control all this. First, I'm going to show you the actual components and how they work. And then we'll go to the animations. If you want to skip straight to the animations, you can go to about the three minute mark and that's where the animations start. Okay, let's look real briefly at how these components work together to heat up your water in your electric water heater. This is the upper thermostat. This is a lower thermostat. This is one of the heating elements. The upper thermostat is always a little more complicated than the lower thermostat because it controls the entire operation. It determines if it needs to send power to the upper heating element. And if it doesn't, then it will send power to the lower thermostat, which then will determine if it needs to send power to the lower heating element, which I'm not showing here. So this heating element, this silver part is the part of the heating element that's actually inside the tank, inside the water. And it's what heats up to heat up the water. This is the part that's exposed on the outside of the tank. And it's got wires connected to each of these two screws to send the 240 volt power and both heating elements are typically identical in the water heater. Okay, so on the upper thermostat, you'll notice this red button. That's a high temperature cutout switch. If something goes wrong and the heating elements, for some reason, don't shut off power, the water in the water heater can potentially get hotter and hotter and hotter until it starts making steam and can potentially cause an explosion. So this will shut off power to both thermostats, to both heating elements. It's basically the final safety measure that's in place to prevent the water from overheating and potentially causing an explosion. And sometimes these, these things will trip off and you'll need to remove the cover, reset it, and restore power to your thermostat. Now, if you have to do that regularly, then there's a problem and that needs to be resolved. The other thing on these, right here that's where you set the temperature you just use a little screwdriver to turn this and you see it goes from 90 degrees 125 all the way up to 150. but let me show you on the other side of these so this is the part of the thermostat that's actually against the metal tank that senses the water temperature this is the one that would activate that high temperature cutout and this is the one that senses the water temperature to turn the thermostat off and on and this one turns the lower thermostat off and on. To get a better idea of how these work together, let's go back to the animation. Okay, so here's a picture showing how the heating elements and thermostats are wired together. You see the power coming in on screws one and three, and just below that you see the, the red circle, which is the high temperature cutout that we talked about. And then you have screw four, and you've got a brown wire and a blue wire. So let me just tell you first of all that these are just arbitrary colors that I chose to be able to trace the wires more easily. So you have the brown wire and a blue wire going to the two heating elements. So now let's put some voltage on the two wires coming into the thermostat. And just as a matter of convention, when you see these yellow circles and they're not moving, then that means there is voltage on the wires, but no current flow because it's an open circuit. So you'll see over on the left side, you've got screw two, and then you've got a screw below that that the yellow wire is connected to. And right there, you've got an internal switch. So when this thermostat detects that the water temperature is below the set point, it will close that switch, which I'm showing in blue, and it will therefore basically produce a call for heat, and that will cause the current to start flowing. And you can see it flowing from screw four down the blue wire into the heating element, and up the yellow wire and back, and across that internal switch and out line one. And then at some point, the temperature set point will be reached and you can see this blue switch starting to flash now. And that switch will open up and it will stop that current from flowing. I wanna pause the video briefly and encourage you to subscribe to my channel. If you find this video useful and educational, then do us both a favor, help me out by subscribing and help yourself out by getting notifications when I put out other informational and educational videos. Thanks. And that switch, when it opens, it immediately switches over across the thermostat and sends power to the lower thermostat through that purple or pink wire. And one thing to note here is that you can only have power to one heating element at a time. Because of that switch over there on the left side of the upper thermostat, it can either send power to that yellow wire or to the purple wire. 
it can never send power to both wires at the same time or to both heating elements at the same time. So now that the switch on the upper thermostat has switched over, you now have power flowing through that lower thermostat and through the lower heating element. But watch the blue line on that lower thermostat. Now I've just got that to simulate the internal switch. I show it flashing just so you can see it easier. And once that thermostat senses that the water temperature has reached the set point, that switch will open and it'll shut power off to that lower heating element. So now you don't have power flowing to either heating element. So that's how these two thermostats work together. Before we leave the animation, let's take one more look at that thermal cutout switch. So let's suppose that the water temperature gets too hot and that thermal cutout switch trips. As soon as it does, you now no longer have voltage on that brown wire or the blue wire. So there's no power at all to either of the heating elements. And that's how it stops the water from heating up any further. And that's the purpose of that thermal cutout. So that's how these thermostats and heating elements work together on these electric water heaters to control the water temperature. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks. Have a great day.